Welcome to the Success Face. In today's video, we're excited to bring you a discussion on the art of authenticity with Carissa Thacker. Authenticity is a crucial aspect of leadership and personal growth, and in this video, we'll be exploring how to cultivate authenticity in our own lives and the benefits it can bring. We hope you'll join us for this thought-provoking and inspiring conversation. Thank you for tuning in. People have considered what authenticity means throughout history. The desire to live one's life in accordance with one's own set of values and beliefs was generally how they understood the concept. Is that definition any different? Well, things have changed around you. In the past, leading an authentic life frequently required doing the same thing each day. Jobs and even careers were predictable when industry dominated the economy. Finding the balance between being your true self and adapting to the noise of pressures is a very personal, complex equation. Six trends have changed how people work since 2000. The widespread use of smartphones, the rise of online social media, the speed with which the market changes, the eroding of hierarchical structures, work-related generational shifts, and a difficult job market that has seen layoffs and downsizing. You must now do more than just keep an eye on your own career. You must act authentically and bravely. The spirit of the 21st century is captured by authenticity. For instance, your clients and customers expect the products and businesses they patronize to be genuine. What distinguishes you? Average knowledge workers once dominated the world, according to Peter Drucker. In his article, Managing Oneself, he says that employees should know their strengths and figure out where they can make the most impact within a working environment that is based on their values. Doing the right things and being a moral person in the real world are inextricably linked to the concept of authenticity. Take into consideration that George Bailey, questions, which are named after the main character in It's a Wonderful Life, by Frank Capra, to find out how unique you are. At the beginning of the movie, Bailey is depressed and makes a suicide attempt. Clarence, his guardian angel, demonstrates to him how he has benefited his family in small town. Bailey discovers how people's lives would have changed without him. It is simply not practical or realistic to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Think about how you affect the workplace. What would have changed if you weren't there? How can you influence how people behave there? Do you make yourself appear more genuine? The majority of people tell small lies and rarely consider the consequences, making authenticity difficult. Keep track of when you lie. Consider the instances when you lied. Keep in mind the distinction between lying and telling the truth. Learn to recognize the feelings you experience when you lie. These instances are referred to by psychologist Maria Saroy as standing in a lie. You must acknowledge when and why you have acted dishonestly in order to become more authentic. The genius of the end, in the past, when most people thought about the work their jobs required, they saw very few options. However, the rise of the internet has resulted in more fluid hierarchies and less stratification in the workplace. You now have more career options than ever before. 
To act authentically, you must recognize the variety of options available to you. Jim Collins, a professor at Stanford, suggests thinking about the genius of the ant. The tyranny of beer or limited options is not a problem for great businesses. They think about the numerous options that and provides. Try to follow in the footsteps of famous musicians and artists. Follow your heart and figure out what you want to do. Avoid taking the dead bug approach in both your personal and professional lives. You may frequently encounter problems for which there are no easy solutions. Adopt a business-like perspective on authenticity, falsity, and honesty whenever you discuss these issues or events. Leading authentically and ferociously in search of the truth are brimming with this kind of subtlety, nuance, and the frustrating absence of black and white. Truth is often approached in a simplistic manner by many people. Joseph Badaracco Jr. of Harvard Business College considers this mentality that the dead bug perspective on truth, recommending that individuals compare coming clean to what they do when they see a dead bug. They say something about it and forget about it. The majority of questions, on the other hand, will be more complicated than that. To turn out to be more bona fide, leave the dead bug perspective on reality. Embrace a nuanced perspective on individuals and concerns you face every day. Don't overvalue charisma. If you had a troubling encounter with coworkers, think about what might have caused the problem. It's possible that you realize you had misjudged someone. You could also have let the charisma of a superior influence your decision-making. People's enthusiasm can be cultivated by leaders who are adept at attracting followers, resulting in extraordinary actions. If you're a leader who really doesn't know what to do or the answer, what are you going to do? You must rely on others and work together to solve the problem. However, according to at least one benchmarking study of leadership, not all successful leaders possess charisma. In Good to Great, Jim Collins looked at the behavior of chief executives and looked for commonalities among leaders who led their companies to great success. He didn't find that transformative leaders were particularly charismatic. Pay attention to whom you follow. Some people who appear to be authentic are actually putting on a show. Conversations that matter. You talk to a lot of people at work, usually about less serious topics like the weather or good food. Try to schedule more in-depth conversations with your coworkers and boss in your quest for authenticity. Asking more questions will lead to more in-depth discussions. People should be asked their origins. Talk about how they manage and what they think their strengths and weaknesses are. You will learn about people's preferences as you pay more attention to yourself and your superiors, such as whether your bosses value authenticity. Your mindset in an effort to explain authenticity, Stanford University psychologist Carol Dweck makes a distinction between two mindsets. In the event that you have a fixed mentality, you will quite often take a gander at life in a parallel way and accept you either have gifts or you don't. However, if you have a growth mindset, you will believe that if you put your mind to it, you can achieve any of your objectives. A growth mindset is associated with greater success, a higher self-esteem, and an appreciation of one's unique talents. 
If you think of authenticity as a spectrum, you'll see that there are many ways to choose between acting true and acting false. Develop a growth mindset to improve your ability to act authentically. Self-awareness, no one automatically becomes more authentic. You will face both internal and external obstacles as you cultivate authenticity. You might have internal experiences that make acting authentically nerve-wracking or challenging. Externally, your business might enact rules that require employees to behave in a way that the bosses think is appropriate. The majority of conversations about authenticity suggest that you only have one self. That is not entirely accurate. Depending on their environment, people exhibit different aspects of themselves. To be a true leader, you need to be more than just who you are without much self-governance. Instead, practice skillfully and develop self-awareness, or self-awareness. You will discover and comprehend a variety of inner selves as a result of various stimuli. Self-monitoring, Mark Snyder, a social psychologist, has found that some people can adapt their behavior to the current situation. These individuals are adept at self-monitoring, which is a psychological inner pattern. People who are able to self-monitor tend to pay attention to how the people around them behave. On the off chance that others in a similar milieu act a specific way, as with caution, they do as well. It is tempting to believe that we can quickly distinguish between good and bad people. On the other hand, those who respond less strongly to changing circumstances have less capacity for self-monitoring. They react to the outside world according to how they feel inside, not how others act around them. A person with poor self-monitoring skills may speak bluntly in front of cautious individuals, harming their effectiveness, authority, and credibility. Charisma can have a negative side, as both Adolf Hitler and Osama bin Laden could be described as charismatic, the author asserts. Giving up the belief that there is only one, immutable self presents one obstacle in the pursuit of authentic leadership. Acquire the skill of balanced processing. Learn to look at the world from your perspective without overstating its significance. Learning balanced processing will be easier for you than pretending to have no biases. Inclination is important for human way of behaving, yet mindful individuals work past biases. Your awareness of how to respond to others and your ability to prevent self-deception are both enhanced by mastering balanced processing. Transparency, leaders of today need to instill a culture of honesty within their organizations. Colleagues should be encouraged to freely share information by the culture they cultivate. Without speaking up when necessary, authentic leadership cannot be achieved. The majority of people make every effort to protect themselves. That's just how people are. As a legitimate pioneer, you should tell your kin sincerely the way that you anticipate that they should act. Transparency in your actions will set a good example. Oversimplifying the issue, many discussions of transparency assume that individuals either act transparently or not. The vast majority need certified inward lucidity. Because they rarely know what they're really feeling, they can't act the way they feel. The new transparency. The 21st century features the significance of straightforwardness. 
The development of web-based entertainment empowers individuals to share a ton of themselves and their lives. People who act without adequate self-protection face difficulties as a result of this new openness. Leaders must figure out how to navigate the big questions about emotional transparency for themselves in a way that is true to who they are. What works for one person may not work for another. The most important question is, what's best for you? The way people see each other is influenced by social hierarchy. The power of those at the bottom of the corporate ladder is frequently exaggerated. You must adhere to socially mandated practices in order to present the appropriate image in a hierarchical setting. However, keep an eye on the distance that exists between the real you and any roleplay. There will be differences between the person you try to portray and who you really are. Keep the gap from getting too wide. The facts, a lot of high-level executives complain that their co-workers don't tell them the truth. Think about what would happen if everyone at work took a truth serum that made them say exactly what they thought. The majority of people are of the opinion that such openness would have a beneficial effect, but others are concerned that expressing oneself impulsively could have unfavorable outcomes. You have the power as a leader to establish guidelines that you and your co-workers must adhere to. Accept your mistakes. Encourage negative news disclosure. Individuals find negative data less compromising when they have clearness about their opportunity to examine it. Make yourself into a work of art. Be proactive, make and imagine. Find chances to make memorable contributions that only you can make. There are a lot of responsibilities for leaders. Every day, they must demonstrate to their co-workers that they are worthy of trust. Accept that you will make mistakes as a leader. People will trust you more if you let them know that you are aware of this possibility. Thank you for watching The Art of Authenticity on the The Success Face YouTube channel. We hope that you found Carissa Thacker's insights on authenticity to be valuable and that you will continue to join us for more thought-provoking content. Remember, being authentic means being true to yourself and your values, and it can be a powerful tool in both your personal and professional life. Thanks again for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.